Hey guys, it's Cassidy and I'm back with your Fit Friday video. Today we are going to run through a little workout with uh, a couple different things, some core, some core, legs and arms. So it's a little variation this week, no specific theme, but that's okay. So as always, we're going to get started with our stretching first. And the first thing we're going to do is something we haven't done before. We're going to do an arm hug. So it's basically just a hug for yourself. And I'll stretch out your shoulders a little bit, your upper back. So just give yourself a big hug if you want. You can do a little bit of twisting. Good. Now we're actually going to do some twists. And the next thing we're going to do, we haven't done in a while, we're going to do some trunk rotations. So we're just going to bend forward, rotate around. And now go the other way. Good work. And now we're going to do our standing quad stretch. So if you guys remember, we want to hold on to the couch or something when we do this, or a wall, and we're going to grab that toe and bend our leg back. Good job, and now you can switch legs, grab that other leg toe, and you'll feel that in the front of your leg. Alright, and now we can do some like swimmer stretch. So. You know, swimmers do the fly. We're going to do some fly. So you can just, just move your arms, like kind of grab your back when you go back. Just a couple of those to get your arms loosened up. Now we're going to do some big arm circles forward. And now backwards. And shake out your arms and legs. So that was a quick stretch for us today and we're going to get into a quick workout so i'm going to run through the exercises one time and then you can play the video back and do the exercises a second time so the first thing we're going to do is sumo squat which i'm not sure that we've done on a fit friday video before um, so this one our legs are going to be wider than our normal squat so our legs are going to be wider than shoulder width and we're going to have our hands in front of us again, and we're going to squat down. So this is a really wide squat. And we're going to do 10 of those. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. And the next exercise we are going to do is going to be our lateral arm raises. So that's when we start like an I and go to a T. We're going to do 10 of those. You can have soup cans or little weights in your hand if you want. If you need them, go ahead and pause the video and grab those and then you can hit resume. But we're going to get started. So one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. The next thing we're going to do are going is going to be our bicep curls, which we do a lot. That's just the one where we turn our hands and make our fists and move to our shoulders. So we're going to do 10 of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome work. And the next thing we are going to do is our ISO 
metric squat punches. So this one is one that I know a lot of athletes in my programs like, so I wanted to include it in this workout. So we're just going to bend down and squat and do punches. So instead of using a timer this time, we're going to do 20 punches. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good job. That's a hard one. It'll burn the front of your legs. And our next exercise we're going to do, we're going to take a seat down on the floor. I'm going to move my laptop. And then we're going to do leg drops. So this one will work your core muscles. And this one more lying flat on our back. We want to keep our whole back on the ground when we're doing this. So we don't want it arched up or we don't want it like, yeah, we just want it flat. So when we do this, we start with our legs up. We want to try and keep our legs straight and we lower them down and come back up. Um, if, if these are pretty easy for you, try not to touch the ground when you lower down and hover. If it's too hard, you can touch the ground and come back up. So we're gonna do 10 of those. So everyone get your legs up. And on my count, we'll go down. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. Good job. So the next thing we're going to do, we haven't really incorporated this into our workouts much, like jogs or marches or anything. But we are going to do a one minute march. So for the march, we want to try and put our hands a little bit above our hips. And we want to bring our knees up to our hands. So it's a high knee march. And we're going to do this for one minute. So here we go. Hands up high, bring those knees to your hands. We don't want to bring your hands to your knees because then we're not going as high. So we want to keep our hands level and bring those knees all the way up to our hands. So our hands should be about chest level. Keep going, get those knees up. We're over halfway done. Good job. Ten seconds left. Keep going. And you can stop. So that is the workout for today. I'm not going to run back through the workout, but I'd like you guys to repeat the workout. So go ahead and start the video over again and run through the workout again. Uh, if that was too hard for you, you don't have to go back through, but I'd really appreciate it if you did. And for your stretches, we can just do a couple quick ones. Remember our stand up and reach for our toes. And rainbow it over to the other side. And reach to the middle. Nice job. Shake out your legs. And we can do a quick arm stretch because we didn't have anything that was too hard today. So we don't need too many stretches. So we can reach across our body 
Use that other arm as support. Feel that in your shoulder. And then the other arm. Good job. Shake out those arms and legs. And we can call it a day. Good job. And I'll see you guys next week.